Adaptive sports are becoming more and more popular amongst those with disabilities. For Carprio's very own Sam Winter, adaptive games have given him the ability to compete at the world level. I don't know, I was just, I just kind of calm, like, okay, if I do, okay, if I don't make it, I made it, so. In August, Sam Winter was named to the Move United's 2022 International Wheelchair and Amputee Sports World Games team. After Sam was born, he suffered from a medical complication, which caused several disabilities. He had a stroke and it caused um, cerebral palsy and it also caused epilepsy and learning disabilities. And so when we found adaptive sports, I should say he did not appreciate sports before <laughs> and when we found adaptive sports it opened up a whole new world for him and totally changed his life. For the last five years Sam has competed in track and field events for Move United after trying out sled hockey. Now it's full steam ahead as he competes in all the sprint races and even some field events. He, his first meet was in Bismarck and he qualified for Junior Nationals that year. And we went to Junior Nationals and it completely opened our eyes and blew us away of what the possibilities were for him. And this year he competed in six events across the U.S., um, including he was the first one from North Dakota to qualify and compete in U.S. Para Track and Field National Championships. And he medaled in all three events he competed in. Sam's coaches are based out of Chicago, which they say can be challenging sometimes, but for the World Games, they have come up with a training program to get him ready for Portugal. Most everything we do is virtual, although we have trade, uh, traded a few videos and can use those to observe and make comments on that. Um, also, I've worked with Sam at several uh, meets live, so I have some reference from working with him when he competed at those events but basically with the help of even other coaches um, at glassa we've set up kind of a training calendar so every day shows either working on you know general fitness or specific activities in some of the events that sam will compete in cindy and randy both say sam was a natural track runner when they started coaching him and his interest in the sport makes it easy to train him the willingness to listen when you say something to Sam, he really takes it, listens to it, internalizes it, and tries it. Um, and not everybody does that. So he's just a joy to work with. His desire and um, uh, just w the wanting to train and to compete. And, you know, he's willing to put in the work ethic and he, he does. Sam says he loves getting to compete and cheering on his friends after he finishes his races. Pretty fun to encourage others and help each other after the race. Some of the fun is just encountering new people. Sam's mother, Becca, says since he started competing, they've seen him turn into a whole new person. It's given him so much motivation and determination and goals and friendships. Um, it's given him a drive that we never knew he had. You're good. It's given him purpose and identity. And for the Winters family, this will be their first time traveling internationally for competition, which means a handful of new opportunities. Say, making new friends, experiencing new competition. I'm really excited to see how he grows with other team members. And I've seen other athletes from, who've competed in the past together internationally and to see the friendships that they've built from their, their lifelong friendships and I'm excited for him to have that opportunity. As for Sam, he wants to thank his family and friends for the support. Lots because I don't think I'd be where I am without them. Um...